Good morning, and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I wanna take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love help them reach this time-honored tradition. As we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world serving on ships, on submarines and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
State, flags, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of the Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter the Great Ceremony of the Room Hall and are announced in the following order.
is graduating from Fort Union in his division 9-3-3. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions, right, face, section leaders, fall out and collect outer garments. Divisions, counter, march. May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass a further review stand, and we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of recruit, training, command.
Division Commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Josh Jones, Recruit Training Command Drill Division Officer. I would like to welcome you to today's pass review. Today you will see six divisions comprised of 511 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for today's graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Recruit Christian DeYoung from Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the staff unit on their sixth week of training, the triple threat unit on their eighth week of training, and the state flags unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division one, seven, five. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Chad Elam. Petty Officer First Class Dionysia Simmons. Petty Officer Second Class Aldrin Zaremba. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Caleb McCannon from Social Circle, Georgia. Division 176. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Chen Lee. Petty Officer First Class, Tyler Shantry. Petty Officer First Class, Donnell Bryant. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Fireman Apprentice Jalen Williams from Lancaster, Texas. Division 177. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Patrick Mixon. Petty Officer First Class, Justine Everett. Petty Officer Second Class, Joseph Johnson. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Alexander Martinez from Charleston, South Carolina. Division 178. Commanded by Senior Chief Petty Officer, Brian Parrish. Petty Officer First Class, Rasam Graham. Petty Officer Second Class, Christelle Sharuba. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Christina Vasquez from Houston, Texas. Division 179. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Charmaine Henry. Petty Officer First Class, Caleb Roush. Petty Officer Second Class, Ronick Mitra. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Thomas Couch from Brush Prairie, Washington. Division 933. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Dwayne Messam. Petty Officer Second Class, Rachel Ballou. Petty Officer First Class, Jason Anderson. 
and the recruit chief petty officer, Airman Mally Touche from Jennings, Louisiana. On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these division commanders and recruit chief petty officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, boatswain, and honor guard take their places for arrival honors. This time honor tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. One such tradition is the gun salute. A gun salute is used to mark an event or to render honors. Today's reviewing officer will receive arrival honors to include a 13 gun salute. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard. Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? Service Training Command arriving.
Deputy Commander, Naval Supply Systems Command, arriving. The guests may be seated. Please rise. Present arms.
Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we gather today to celebrate this grand occasion. Thank you for these sailors that stand before us, those who have answered the call to serve, who have pushed themselves to their limits, and who have emerged stronger, more disciplined, and ready to take their place as sailors in our United States Navy. Lord, may their courage, perseverance, and their unwavering sense of duty guide them on their journey as sailors. May they find their strength in each other. May their actions reflect our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. Lastly, Lord, I ask for a blessing upon these new sailors, their families, and our nation. May they find purpose in their service, and may their dedication bring peace and security to our great nation. I pray to the honor of your name. Amen. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command.
morning, Captain. I present the graduating divisions. Request permission to commence the review. Good morning. Commence the review. Aye, aye, sir.
service to our country. Division 933 graduates today. They're our state flags unit, identifying themselves in the center here. Provide our 50 state flags, District of Columbia, U.S. Territory flags, drum corps, and color guard. Please join me giving them and the 500 other outstanding graduating divisions here today a round of applause for their performance. It's okay, you can make some noise over there, it's all right. These sailors have successfully completed 10 rigorous weeks of recruit training and have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world as a symbol of freedom. I would also like to take a moment to welcome you, their family and friends, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly, navigate your new journey together, we invite you to learn more about your family resources here in Great Lakes and around the world. Search the internet, Navy Boot Camp, Navy Family, and check out our website for more information about your new Navy family resources. Today's graduates will serve as a bedrock of American naval forces around the world and join other sailors to defend freedom and liberty against those who are threatened. I can say with pride this training group is ready to graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you 511 of the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Rear Admiral McClellan, 
will now present this week's individual awards, and she will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Grover, and Commander, Naval Service Training Command, Rear Admiral Manager. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Fireman Jordan Salve, Division 176 from Cleveland, Ohio, has earned an Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Fireman Salve receives a letter of accommodation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressed in the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, Fireman Apprentice Camelike Solano, Division 933 from San Diego, California, was awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Fireman Apprentice Solano is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Airman Apprentice Jonathan Nelson, Division 179, from Spokane, Washington, is the winner of the United Service Organizations Award for best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipping. Airman Apprentice Nelson is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organizations. Well done, sailor. Seaman Ian Jeffrey, Division 933, from Phoenix, Arizona, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Seaman Jeffrey is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor. The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Airman Stephen Anaya, Division 175 from Orland, California, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Airman Anaya is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Thank you, Admiral. 
Lord and Admiral. Thank you, Admiral. Seaman Apprentice Michael Asante, Division 179, from New Orleans, Louisiana, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities, enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag letter of accommodation, Seaman Apprentice Asante. The staff of Recruit Training Command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. as the Joint Team Leader. Additionally, she mobilized in 2009 as Commanding Officer, Defense Logistics Agency Support Team Afghanistan, and in 2010 as the Deputy Group Commander, Navy Expedition and Logistics Support Group Forward. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm recruit training command welcome for Red Good morning, distinguished guests, veterans, but most importantly, the families and the sailors standing here today. What a great honor to be here and this opportunity to celebrate the successes that this team has completed and are ready for our fleet. So let's make some noise. So we have 511 sailors standing before you, about to make their first move into the world's greatest Navy. I couldn't be more proud or honored for this opportunity to say hello, congratulate, and call you shipmate. 
For over a century, Naval Station Great Lakes has transformed over three million civilians into highly trained sailors, those you see today. The program here has always been rigorous, demanding more from recruits than they ever thought possible themselves. Each of them has selflessly answered the call to duty to serve a greater cause greater than themselves. They have been battle tested and have completed their battle stations 21 and proven themselves worthy of wearing the uniform that symbolizes freedom throughout the world, the uniform of the United States Navy. The recruit division commanders, instructors, and staff at RTC have taken on the unique and honorable challenge of shaping these recruits into the finest American sailors, maintaining the Navy highest standards. We thank them for their dedication. But most importantly, we acknowledge these sailors' families and friends for the in integral role you have played on this sailor's last 10 weeks and grooming them to actually get to RTC. It is without, it, they cannot do this without your love and support. You have helped shape them uh, into a person that wanted to stand for, up for their country, who understands the Navy core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And during the past 10 weeks, you have tirelessly supported them. We now welcome you into our Navy family. Thank you. <laughs> Sailors, you are about to embark on one of the most challenging and demanding adventures of your life. You've chosen to serve your country at a time when it is most needed, when Americans must show a strong presence throughout the world, on the sea, below the sea, and above the sea. You have taken on the responsibility of defending our nation and are now prepared for that tremendous duty. You have earned not only mine, but the respect of a grateful nation. I am excited to see you in the fleet and to call you shipmates. Congratulations, sailors. Thanks again for this wonderful opportunity to serve all of you and be here to congratulate you. Take care and God bless. receive the salute of the graduating divisions. And you will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frober. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty.
please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders fall up and retreat out of garments. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and Photo Pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown Parking Garage. Sailors going out Liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate 8 toward the train station parking lot. Naturalization sailors, please report to the chapel at the conclusion of today's ceremony with your families for the naturalization ceremony. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this. Liberty Call!